Hey friends, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel. And today we're talking about energy, manifestation, spirituality, all the good stuff. Uh, on this channel, I talk about psychology and spirituality, but I've been focusing more on the psychology side of things um, for I think the last couple of months, but I really want to bring it back and involve some of the energetics and spirituality as well, because with everything that I do and the way I work with clients through coaching or the kind of content that I gravitate towards and I create, it's really a mix between psychology and spirituality because when it comes to personal growth and um, exploring your inner world as I'd like to call it uh, you really have to understand the way your mind works and the beliefs and the subconscious beliefs and how the brain functions right um, but I also believe that we're part of this incredible powerful universe we have the power to create our lives there's energy um, you know attraction manifestation and I really want to talk about it today one of my favorite teachers uh, when it comes to spirituality and energy work is Abraham Hicks and I've been listening to her and working with her tools since I was 13 years old I believe so almost 10 years which is crazy and two years ago I actually went and saw her live at an, at an event and I cried because by that point it was like seven years that I've been listening to her work and I can't imagine growing up without all this knowledge um, so it was really powerful to be in her workshop and see her live and today I want to touch upon a few different things but essentially um, whether it's you know manifestation or law of attraction it all comes down to energy work and aligning our energy with the things that we want and I'm definitely not ignorant and I'm not gonna say oh yeah you can sit on your couch you know visualize something and it's gonna happen um, because you do need to put in the work um, there is an action element to it however you see it and I, I've seen it in myself and the people that I work with or even my friends I see that when you have the perfect combination of action and the energy side of it that's where incredible results happen and that's where uh, miracles happen right and the basics of energetics is that you are able to um, control and you're able to influence um, what shows up in your life and what you create by being aware and being intentional by how you feel um, what thoughts are going through your head and what kind of energy you're emitting and I feel like um, <sighs> Man, in the last three or four months, I feel like I got a little bit more caught up in the physical rea reality of things. And like with any journey, whether it's fitness or personal development or relationships, you have like the hills and valleys, right? Sometimes you're completely at the peak, you're crushing it. You have this daily incredible fitness practice or meditation practice. And then some other times there are weeks or months where you're just not really involving in that practice. And you can see that, you know, you're not feeling the best, but um, it's totally normal, normal to go off track because that's just how life works so in the last three or four months um, I've just been feeling not feeling I feel like I've just abandoned a few of the spiritual practices um, that I've been doing I don't even have to say spiritual practices it's more like energetic practices uh, that I've done before and that is to uh, put myself in a certain state of how I want to feel throughout the day right so in the mornings I would meditate I would do my yoga or my workouts and then I would you know do visualizations or I would listen to some of the recordings from my favorite teachers and really set up myself for success so even if things were not going my way at least I had laid out a solid foundation for the rest of the day I abandoned that for a while and then in the last month and a half I've really been coming back to it and establishing again a daily practice of just intentionally setting my day and setting up myself of how I want to feel it doesn't mean that I don't feel my feelings and I don't feel down or something comes up it's not about that but it's just being very aware of how you're coming into the day and what you're bringing in and essentially focusing on your inner world before you respond to your outer world world um, and when it comes to manifestation right or things like law of attraction saying oh this is what I want and I really want to attract it you have to align yourself with the things that you want um, so if you want a really great job but you feel really undeserving of it um, you criticize yourself you believe you can't do it uh, you're not gonna get it and even if you do get it the feelings are not gonna go away because you're gonna feel like oh you know I don't deserve it I feel like an imposter because how you feel and your energy is not aligning with the thing that you want 
Uh, so for the last month and a half, I was like, you know what? I need to come back to my energy work uh, because I've been so, so focused on the mind and psychology, um, which is awesome. Um, but again, for me, it has to be the balance between the two. So um, I started really focusing on my inner world and rather than observing the reality and the, the you know, observing that I, there are certain things that haven't manifested yet or I don't have that I want um, in my inner world, I was like, you know what? I just need to feel the way I want to feel when I have these things. Um, and I've been really wanting to attract like really aligned, committed clients um, because I'm a certified life coach and I work with people, but I've really been wanting like a few new clients that I can really work with and connect with and, and, and really give my best to them and be of service. So I started doing my energy work and it's crazy because it all happened so quickly and that's the beautiful thing about working with energy. When you really begin to shift your energy, your outer, outer world will begin to reflect that. So uh, after three weeks of doing that, I got two new clients from two completely opposite sides of the world and they are so incredible um, and I've been working with them for a couple of weeks now. And it was just really beautiful because on my part, I didn't really have to put in that much work, right? I mean, I'm still working with the clients. It still requires quite a bit of work and preparation, um, but I wasn't in the mindset and I wasn't in the energy of, oh, I don't know how to go about it. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should change up like my marketing thing. Maybe I should reach out to more people. So I really focused on the energy work uh, because as I said, I've abandoned it for a little bit and I just needed to, get back into the magic of life um, because I believe that miracles are natural and so many teachers and spiritual texts say that uh, miracles are natural, right? Being in sync with the flow of life is natural. When things are going well, it's natural. And when you're feeling upset or things are not going well, um, there's some kind of resistance somewhere. So I really shifted my focus and I was doing my daily meditations. I've been journaling basically every single day, um, shedding the limiting beliefs. I've been really visualizing what I want and imagining as if I have it right now and just really, really feeling excited about the things that are to come. And hence, um, the new clients came about and also um, I started, I started um, certain studies as well, just delving more into the topic of psychology. So I want you to just think about what is your energy like right now? Um, and touching upon the teachings of Abraham Hicks, when you want something, right? When you want to manifest something, you want to attract something, you have to be an energetic match. The same example that I gave with self-worth and attracting a really wonderful job. You have to feel like you're worthy of it. So um, thinking of it as a radio, and I talked about this in the series uh, about the law of attraction that I made, I, I'll link it somewhere above, but if you think of it in terms of a radio, right? Um, and you want to listen to music on 98 FM, but you've set your radio to 62.9 AM, the frequencies don't match, right? You can't get the music from a certain radio if your radio isn't tuned into that frequency. So how is your energy right now? What are you tuned into? I just want you to self reflect a little bit. Um, and again, as I said, this whole video is all about energetic. So I could easily say, okay, but if you don't believe in, you know, in, in the energy or manifestation, I could give you a few tools to work with when it comes to psychology. But here um, we're full in spirituality and universe and energy. So what are you tuned into? What kind of frequency are you emitting out into the world. If you want to attract a new job, um, what are you feeling? Like, are you feeling like you deserve the job? Are you feeling confident? Um, do you believe you're worthy of it? Are you feeling excited? Is it an energetic match? If you want to, I don't know, uh, grow your business or if you want to uh, have new creative projects, are you creating the space and are you creating the energetic um, world? Oh, I love that term, so good. Are you creating the energetic world within yourself where those things can come in or is it completely like day and night and it's not a match at all um, because if it's not a match obviously it's not going to come into fruition and it also comes to ideas right it's it's rarely when we feel really upset and down um, and we're overthinking that really great ideas present uh, themselves to us 
but it's in those times of absence of thought, like, you know, being in the shower or when you're feeling really inspired and really happy that these ideas out of nowhere just pop into your mind and you're like, oh my God, that's so good. I have to do something about it um, because you weren't interfering with it. You created the space for it to come through. Um, so yeah, as I said, I've really been experimenting in my own, in my own daily practice, uh, working with energy. And in the last four weeks, so many things have shifted in relation to my studies and the new clients and a few other uh, work-related projects. And it's really beautiful because I know it was of my doing and of my creation because this is exactly what I've been working for in the last month, month and a half. Um, I set out really clear intentions and in the mornings I really programmed myself to um, attract these things and put myself in a really good uh, place emotionally and vibrationally, energetically. So now that these things started coming into my life, it's not a su surprise for me, you know? It's not something like, oh my God, I didn't expect that or oh my God, I didn't see that coming. Um, it's really exciting, it's really beautiful, but it's not you know, um, it's not uh, an accident. It's not something that came out of nowhere because I know it was my doing and I created it. So uh, whether you work with the law of attraction, you love manifestation, you love uh, hearing about energy, the universe, um, I just want you to maybe get into this daily habit of having time to self-reflect and ask yourself, what kind of energy am I emitting, right? How am I feeling? What is my energy saying? What am I attracting with my energy? Um, and also in the morning, setting yourself up for success rather than just stepping out of bed and falling into everything that the outside world has, the work, the problems, the anything that comes up, you really set a foundation of energy and set a foundation of, uh, I'm trying to look for the good word, um, intentional living rather than just being thrown into things. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't plan really this video. I just sat down and I was like, okay, what do I want to talk to, uh, to you guys about today? And it was all about energy and just being an energetic match to the things that you want. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoy making videos like these and I just wanted to step away a little bit from the psychological side and step a little bit more into the um, spiritual side of things. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and I will see you next week.